Binyagan ang lahat ng mga bansa sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. At ipahayag ang mabuting balita sa lahat ng mga tao. Ito ang utos ni Kristo sa ating lahat ng mga Kristiyano. Isang mapagpalang araw, kumusta na kayo mga kaliwanag? Sa araw po na ito ay ibabahagi natin sa inyo ang pagpapaliwanag tungkol sa liturgiya ng ating simbahan at ang mga sakramento. At ang magbabahagi po sa atin ay ang mga refleksyon at mga pagkaunawa at mga natutunan ng ating mga kabataan tungkol sa kanilang asignatura na tinatawag natin liturgiya at sakramento ng simbahan. Kaya matutunghayan po natin dito ano-ano ang kahalagahan ng liturgiya sa ating simbahan at bakit po merong sakramento na binibigay ang ating simbahang katolika. Ano ang kahalagahan nito sa ating buhay kristyano? Kaya tunghayan natin hanggang katapusan para masaksihan po natin ang patutuo sa mga natutunan ng ating mga kabataan tungkol sa kanilang nadiskobre sa kalagahan ng liturgia na nagbibigay buhay sa ating simbahan at ganun din po ang sakramento na siyang nagbibigay ng biyaya at grasya sa buhay espiritual nating mga kristyano. Kaya sana po tapusin po natin ang ating video. Liturgy It is the exercise of the priestly office of Jesus Christ. It came from two Greek words, ergos meaning work and laton meaning people. Therefore, it signifies the public work or service of the people or of the community in the sense of serving and worshiping God. It is also our expression of our deep relationship with Him and our devotion. According to the Catholic Truth Society, the examples of the liturgies that we take part in are the sacraments, liturgy of the hours, common prayers, visual signs, symbolic actions, sacred music, and the proclamation of the scripture. But for now, we are to focus on the sacraments, their categories, and what do they signify. The sacraments of initiation. The first three sacraments are baptism, the first Holy Communion, or the, Ho the first Holy Eucharist, and confirmation. These three, collectively, are known as the sacraments of initiation. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are there three instead of just one? Uh, the Christian Church has three sacraments of initiation because it represents uh, three persons in one, being God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And this is the reasoning why they chose the three first sacraments is because it's our first, I guess, introduction to God. Baptism when we were a, a, a baby, then, or, and later on, it's the first Holy Eucharist, and then Confirmation. These represent the Holy Trinity to the Christian faith. Penance and anointing the sick are the two sacraments of healing. People who have sinfully alienated themselves from God can receive spiritual healing and absolution through penance. By confessing their sins to God in the sacrament of penance, a priest forgives them by God's grace and orders them to live a more faithful life through absolution. Confession is necessary for cultivating and living out God's word in a fruitful way. Even though we attempt to be, we aren't ideal people. It's so much better to be forgiven and admit some of the things you've done wrong. The thing to say is sorry and mean it. As a result, we can have a better relationship with God. The sacrament of anointing the sick, on the other hand, is only given to people who are extremely ill or suffering, therefore uniting the inflicted with Christ's suffering. This sacrament is received by anointing the person's forehead and hands with chrism as a priest gives a special blessing. This unique blessing is one approach to strengthen and connect the sick in both mind and body with God. 
The two sacraments of service are the sacrament of holy orders and the sacrament of marriage or holy matrimony. The sacrament of service will answer to the question of what kind of life we are to live as Christians in this world as a result of our faith. Because these are our specific responses to God's call on us, they are also called as vocational sacraments. Let's begin by discussing the sacrament of holy orders. Holy orders as a sacrament of service is the sacrament of apostolic ministry to which the mission that Christ entrusted to the apostles continues to be exercised in the church. During the sacrament of holy orders which is confirmed by laying on of hands and a prayer of consecration to the apostles and their successors, the Holy Spirit's ability to save and sanctify is poured out on each generation. Ordination comes from the Latin word ordinatio, which means to incorporate someone into an order. In the sacrament of holy orders, a man is incorporated into the priesthood of Christ at one of the three degrees, the episcopate, the priesthood, or the diaconate. Those who receive holy orders are consecrated or set apart in Christ's name to feed the church by the word and the grace of God. The sacrament of marriage, or also known as holy matrimony, is the next one. Marriage is a vow made between a man and a woman that binds them together in life and love. The author of marriage is God himself. Since God created man and woman, their mutual love is an image of God's love for humanity. And because marriage comes from God's hand, every marriage matters. A man and a woman are brought together by God to love and support one another. Husbands and wives who receive the sacrament of matrimony are strengthened and blessed for the dignity and duties of the sacrament of marriage. Their love becomes visible in the children they bring into the world and in their acts of generous service. Matrimony signifies the union of Christ and the Church. As our vlog ends, we want you to remember that we should take part in the liturgy because it is our response of faith and love to God. It is not just a simple gathering where we sit and wait until it finishes. Rather, it is a solemn yet joyful celebration of all the faithful and where we celebrate our life with Christ. Maraming salamat sa napakagandang pagbabahagi at pagbibigay liwanag tungkol sa ating liturhiya at sakramento sa ating simbahan. Natunghayan po natin kung paano nagbibigay buhay ang liturhiya sa ating mga simbahan. Kaya makikita po natin kung tayo po ay aktibo na nakikibahagi sa ating mga liturhiya sa ating simbahan Buhay na buhay po ang ating mga pananampalataya. Dahil po ang liturhiya ng ating simbahan ay pagdiriwang ng sakramento at misteryo ng buhay ni Kristo na siyang nagbibigay buhay at simula ng buhay spiritual nating lahat. Kaya makikita po natin na ang simbahan ay hindi nag-imbento ng liturhiya. Bagkos, ang liturhiya ay isang napakagandang regalo na binigay ng Diyos sa atin para po tayo ay patuloy na nagpapalago ng ating buhay spiritual. Kung tayo po na normal na tao ay humihinga ng hangin at siyang nagbibigay buhay, ang liturhiya naman po ang siyang inihinga ng ating mga kaluluwa para mabubuhay po ang ating spiritual na buhay. At yan po ang nagbibigay meaning at nagbibigay kulay sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano dahil sa liturhiya naramdaman natin at nakakasama natin si Kristo at nakikiisa po tayo sa passion, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. At ang sakramento naman po ay isang napakagandang biyaya at regalo na binigay ng Diyos atin para sa pamamagitan ng ating mga simbahan 
ay patuloy na gumagabay at bumibigay ng biyaya at grasya ang Diyos sa ating lahat para tayo po'y mapabalakas ang ating mga sarili, lalo na po ang ating mga kaluluwa para labanan po ang lahat ng hamon dito sa mundo. Ang sakramento ay naaayon kung anong estado ng ating pagkalago sa ating pananampalataya at sa ating buhay espiritual. Kaya hindi natin lahat sabay-sabay natin tanggap po ang sakramento. Ito ay naayon sa ating mga edad at sa ating paglagok sa ating mga pananampalataya. Para lahat po ng ating tinatanggap na sakramento ay ating naunawaan at ating naintindihan. Kaya sa pamamagitan ng liturhiya at sakramento ng ating simbahan na ipapakita po natin kung gaano kayaman ang ating pananampalataya dahil dito ang Diyos ay patuloy po nating naramdaman at nakakapiling dahil sa patuloy na pagbibigay ng suporta paggagabay ng Diyos sa atin sa pamamagitan ng kanyang simbahan. Kaya sana po ay patuloy pa nating subaybayan ang ating channel po na ito na siyang patuloy na magbibigay sa inyo ng kaliwanagan at mga karunungan tungkol sa ating pananampalataya at sana makakatulong po ito sa paglago ng ating buhay spiritual. Kaya sana po ay subaybayan ninyo palagi ang Renz Garcel Channel Liwanag Episodes para patuloy po ninyong mapapalago din po ang inyong buhay spiritual at ang ating pananampalataya sa Diyos. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga suporta at patuloy po na panunood sa ating mga short videos. Maraming salamat at sana po'y pagpalain po tayo ng ating Panginoong May Kapal. Good day and may God bless us all.